Hello Voxel fans! In this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. I've been asked by the sponsors of this channel, the Sandbox's Creator Fund, to create some ultra rare and high quality assets. These things will be massive and in very limited quantities once the Sandbox Marketplace launches later this year. If you're interested in learning more about the Sandbox, check out sandbox.game or visit the official Discord server linked in the description. This is going to be a making of series for these assets. These will be mostly uncut, so you get to see my process as I work, make mistakes, and experiment with different ideas and techniques. I'm speeding them up to about four times actual speed because each of these models is going to take many hours to complete. But you'll get to see it from start to finish, and I'll explain what I'm doing as we go along. For this first build, I'm doing a giant lizard inspired by Godzilla, who I'm calling Gigant Zard. I'll be building him in Magicka Voxel, because that's what I'm most familiar with, and it has the largest selection of modeling tools, while also being compatible with VoxEdit, where I'll rig and animate, then export to the Sandbox Marketplace when he's all done. So I start off by blocking him out at a very small scale. I'm using approximately one voxel to every 50 voxels that's going to be in the final size. So this thing's going to be about 20 voxels tall, which will translate to a thousand voxels tall in the final model. You'll see me jumping between the various build modes, uh, like voxel, face, and box. A lot of these tools can be used interchangeably. Sometimes I kind of get stuck on one for a little bit and uh, realize that I'm editing inefficiently. So. so you might see me building using one for a little while, then switch over to another one when I realize I'm taking too much time. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to divide him up into all the various parts. So I'm going into the world mode and I'm creating a duplicate, which uh, I'm going to save to make sure that I have a, a backup. And then I just go in and I start selecting parts, cutting them out, and then pasting them into the world mode so that way there's uh, another piece. The reason I'm doing this is not just for purposes of rigging, but also because Magicka Voxel has the 126 cubic limit. So I can't make him a thousand voxels tall in a single object. Uh, so by dividing him up into smaller parts now, I can scale those up and keep all the proportions together. I'm making sure to segment everything uh, that I think is going to be a moving part. Some things I'm leaving together, like uh, the fingers and the toes and stuff, those will be split up later once the modeling is done, but those are much smaller features. Uh, the goal here is to not have anything larger than 7 voxels uh, because conveniently 126 it divided by 7 is 18. So uh, once everything is split up, 
I can uh, go into each object, scale it up by 18, and it will fit in a 126 by 126 by 126 volume. And then I can just quickly jump between each object and type 18 into the scale box and make everything big. Uh, unfortunately, there's no snapping in Magic of Voxels, so I can't uh, I can't arrange these really quickly. I have to manually uh, sort through them. And you can see I just did a, a reference copy for the leg there. And the goal is basically just to reassemble everything just the way it was before. Uh, and now I have a sort of rough blocking out of the whole character uh, at the correct size. And that finishes out the blocking of Gigantzard. So uh, I'm going to end the first video here. And uh, and that's that's how I get my, my framework ready uh, for this much larger build. Thank you for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe. And ring the bell to be notified when I upload the next session.